Hey everybody, Melissa McCall here. You know, I just wanted to bring you another video today. I was sitting down talking with my husband during dinner time tonight, and we were just going over a few things that my mentor had um, told me about. My mentor said that had he had talked to me about, and um, and I've also, for those of you who didn't know, I've been on this major organization trip because. Several weeks ago, I just felt like I was going through this whole physical meltdown in a way. Um, I couldn't figure out why I was feeling so overwhelmed and just tired, exhausted, frustrated, mad. Didn't know why I was mad, you know, at the people that I care about the most. And I finally figured it out. I figured out that my life is a dis organized mess pool. <laughs> I mean, it's just crazy. And once I figured out that was the one of the main reasons why I was completely stressed out, it just really, that alone started to bring peace. But it wasn't the only thing that I had to do to start bringing peace into my life. And the thing that I had to do was, of course, take ownership of it and then say, what am I going to do about it? You know? And anyways, while we were sitting down talking about it, um, you know, it just really came to me, and I, and I was talking about how we have been really focused on organizing our own home, so it took me a couple of weeks to get the kitchen together, and I'll do another video for you, and I'll show you what I did with the kitchen and give you some awesome ideas on how to organize your kitchen, which I'm excited about. And, um, and now we're on the office area, because this is my income uh, generating area, it actually should have probably been probably been the first area um but anyway I didn't and I'm doing it now and and just how my feeling of being stressed out it totally came from even just inside of my house drawers filled with junk I couldn't tell you where anything was really I thought I knew where stuff was but honestly if I was truthful about it it'd probably take me 10 minutes to find what I really needed which then added to the stressful, you know, mornings trying to get to church or stressful mornings trying to get to work because it was something that we needed and we couldn't find it because it was in one of the crazy drawers. Or it was underneath all of the papers and the books that are sitting on this random table in my dining room that serves for nothing but a clutter generator or a clutter collector, okay? Um, you probably have these areas in your home. And the epiphany that I had was, oh my goodness, so many people are sick. Like literally sick in their bodies and they are looking for a way to get better and so what do we do we go to the doctor we run to the doctor 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 please give me some medicine because I'm feeling like poo and I need something to help me to feel better and then the doctor gives you something to help you to feel better but it doesn't mess it doesn't get to the root of the situation it just treats the the symptom so that you can feel better temporarily and then, because you have to keep taking it just to medicate that one issue, it starts to create other issues in your body. And it's just another stressful situation because you aren't really, truly well. And one of the main secret silent killers, in my opinion, now I'm not a doctor, but I strongly believe that the secret silent killer in most people is stress. It is the root of the reason why you have high blood pressure. It is the root of the reason why the doctor diagnoses you with mental illness. It is the root of why, you know, you have even diabetes or other main issues, major headaches, um, yeast infections, whatever it is. Guys, stress contributes to all of that. And when you start to slow down and you begin to take control of your life instead of life taking control of you, you start to feel so much better. Your heart isn't beating so fast. Those headaches stop coming because you're not worried, right? You're not worried because you know that God has it. You're not worried because you have your schedule here. You know what to expect. Your family knows what to expect. The people around you know what to expect. You're, you're feeling better because you now feel confident in telling people no when you should have said no instead of yes to that engagement or yes to whatever that commitment was that you know good and well you didn't have time to do. Okay? And I'm just being real. 
because it took somebody being real to me to help me to realize that the reason why I feel so, I had been feeling so bad is because I was creating that chaos in my own life. And I guarantee you, when you start to take control of it, and even if it means that you got to start within your house, clean up your house. It is the place that you should go to and feel great. And I wasn't. I wasn't coming home feeling like I could relax. I was coming home and immediately would roll my eyes because of all the mess around me. And even when I cleaned up, still there was clutter from where? In a lot of places, you know. And, but I, I guarantee you, if you just take this challenge with me and you start with a room, whatever it is, start, with, start somewhere that has been bothering you and get it organized. I guarantee you that little feeling of accomplishment is going to start to relieve that stress, that stressful feeling. You know, it's going to really, really help you in your body. So I hope you've been blessed with this. I didn't mean for it to go so long, but I tell you it's something that I'm super passionate about right now because it's helping me, and I really hope it also helps you. Everybody be blessed. Have a good night.